Hi there. I am representing webtrackofficial.org. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at webtrackofficial.org. In this video I am going to show you how you can fix the migration issue where the plugin all in one WP migrations importing stuck at 100%. Now, I've had this problem before, and I'm sure you have as well. So in this video I am gonna fix this error for sure, so make sure to subscribe my channel and watch it till the very end. Now let's get started. First let's talk about the issue why the import stucks at 100%. The three main reasons are, the free version doesn't allow to import for big backup files, timeout issues, and server space saturated. Now. All-in-one WP migration plugin comes with a premium extension, called Unlimited Extension which has no storage or file size limitations. That's what we're gonna be using to fix the issue. But just in case, if you wanna know how you can completely migrate your WordPress site for free, you can check out the video here. I have already purchased the extension and installed it in my dashboard. From you left sidebar, under All-in-one WP migration, click Backups. As you can see, there is nothing here. There should be a file that we can restore. Now we have to add it manually. The import was successful, but due to one of the problems we outlined previously, the import did not make it up to the directory where it should have been. So what do you need to do is, go to your cPanel. Now into File Manager, and then to Install Directory. Now go to the WP Content folder. Now on the very top, that's the folder where that import file needs to be. Here you can see the files missing. Now from the top, click Upload. Now drag and drop the import file and wait for it to upload completely. Once it's done, go back to Dashboard and refresh the page. Now here you can see that the import file has appeared. Just click on the three dots and click Restore. Click Proceed to overwrite the files. Here you can see, the restoration is now successful. Let me show you the site as well. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.